Hello learners, NIOS welcomes you to painting subject video series. This is lesson 8, part 2. Now we learn about the first painting. This is the first painting. The title of this painting is The Common Indian Night Jar Bird. This was made in the 18th century. The artist is unknown. The medium is watercolor on paper, which is handmade. The style is the Lucknow Company School. And this painting is now displayed at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, which is in New York. Let us understand about this painting. The paintings of birds and animals continues as tradition from King Jahangir's time. As you remember, King Jahangir was a nature lover and this tradition has continued. That is what we see in this painting. The painting of a night jar bird is very accurate and a lot of detailing has been done. You would see the feathers, the body of the bird has been precisely matched as the real specimen. Very accurate detailing of the eyes, of the neck area. A lot of shades have been used here, primarily of two colors, which is brown and black. You see the body of the bird, the detailing has been done in the shades of brown and black. This painting is from an album which belonged to a French soldier whose name was Claude Martin and that person settled in Lucknow and it was from his album. Now we learn about the second painting. This is the second painting, a market scene. The title is Market Scene. You can see women who are selling vegetables, fruits and grains. This was made in 1850. The artist is Shiv Dayal Lal. Medium of painting is opaque watercolor on paper. The style of this painting is the Patna Company School. They have depicted the market scene and this collection is now in London at the Victoria and Albert Museum. Queen Victoria is a famous personality. Now the description of the second painting. The British people really liked scenes from daily Indian life. The culture, the markets, the hustle bustle. And you would see that the markets in India in 1850 are very similar to the markets of today. In the painting, you can see four women. 
two of them are shopkeepers they are the ones who are selling the grains the fruits the vegetables shopkeepers and there are two other women who are the customers as you can see in the painting that the two women are selling grains fruits and vegetables all the four women are wearing sarees and also are wearing various ornaments on their arms on their necks the fruit vegetables and grains have been very aptly depicted by naturalistic colors which look like the real objects for example dal pulses and all these grains have been very nicely depicted by natural colors now we learn about the third painting this is the third painting you can see a noble man sitting inside the palanquin this painting is from the varanasi company school that is the style varanasi is a city in uttar pradesh and this painting is now displayed at the victoria and albert museum in london let us quickly understand the description and details of the third painting this technique is a mix of indo european that's indian and european watercolor techniques on paper This is from an album of 42 paintings about conveyance various kinds of conveyance and occupation The album had paintings of various kind of occupations and conveyance found in India at that time As you can see in the painting there are four men who are carrying the palanquin What are they wearing the carriers all of them are wearing white kurtas yellow and brown dhotis they have blue turbans on their heads very similar all four and a red color cloth which they are wearing around their waist you would see in the painting very accurate depiction of the rhythmic movement as well as the details of the clothes very original and exact and also the muscle you see the muscles of the four bearers has been very accurately depicted I hope you enjoyed watching part 2 of the lesson. If you have any queries, you can email us at signlanguage@nios.ac.in. For more information, you may visit our website. Thank you.